Okay, so in this video, we're looking for the residue of this function f at point zero. So the function is sine over z over z to the six. Looks a little bit intimidating, but we can get around it. And as always in complex numbers, z is a plus bi, where i is square root of minus one. So to find the residue of this function, we need to find the coefficient at z to the minus one or one over z of the Laurent series. So I'll just write that here for you. Laurent series. Okay, so let's get straight into finding the Laurent series for this function here. So let's deal with the sine of z for now. Taylor series of sine z that is simply z minus z cubed over 3 factorial plus z to the 5 over 5 factorial and then a minus again so alternating the minus and plus signs z to the 7 over 7 factorial and now you can see the pattern and that's that so we've got that so now we've got 1 so we could imagine an imaginary 1 here we've got 1 over z to the 6 so what we do now is we just do 1 over z to the 6 times Taylor series of sine, which is here. So z, you put z over 1 if you like, minus z cubed over 3 factorial, plus z to the 5 over 5 factorial, minus z to the 7 over 7 factorial, and so on. Okay, so now we've got this uh, equation here we need to sort out. So let's go through each term one at a time. z divided by z over 6. So that will give us 1 over z to the 5, and then a minus. This one here will be a positive, so you can put positive in there if you like. z cubed divided by z to the 6, so that gives us z to the 3 on the bottom. And we leave the 1 on the top. 3 factorial, let's work out what that is. That's 1 times 2 times 3, so that's 6. Put the plus sign in z to the 5 divided by z to the 6, that gives us 1 over z. And 5 factorial will be uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, which is 120. And then minus z to the 7 over z to the 6, that would just be z. And the coefficient here is 1 over 7 factorial, which is 120 times 6, which is 720. And then times that by 7, 7 7 to 49, get 5040. Okay, so therefore the 5040 would go in the denominator. Okay, and then this will go on and on and on. So we're looking for the coefficient of 1 over z. So that's this one. So therefore we can say the residue of f at 0 equals 1 over 120. There we go. That is our answer.